Yep, you are just as much of a pushover as the rest of them. Aren't you? Yes, yes I think you are. So, welcome back! We are still in the Ragnarok. We are still fighting Propagators. This is the second from last one we will need to defeat. is dead. Who knows in level 14? Ah, uh, that is a lot. <laughs> the last one is, of course, one we've already seen. We've saved it for last because it's on the elevator. And we... that's... Unless I misremember, this is where we'll want to go once we're done. I probably should have healed this wall. Well, whatever. He'll be fine. <laughs> you thought you can inflict darkness on me? Well, how about I inflict darkness on you? Oh, okay, well, you- no, no, you did not actually hit me. Okay, you, you probably hit me with that. For all the good it did you. Okay, well, uh, up we go. Wow. I guess so, Squall. Hmm. There's the moon. I guess we're spinning. This is Esthar Air Station. Ragnarok, do you read? Ragnarok, do you read? This is Air Station, do you copy? This is... this ship is the Ragnarok? Whoa! It, is this really the Ragnarok? You're in space, right? Yeah, but I have no idea where we are. Is it just me, or is Squall floating? Roger that! We can track you from the air. Ragnarok, it's been 17 years! Can we make it back? Leave it to us! You should have enough fuel! Enter your location into the atmosphere for entry program, and you'll be okay. Once you enter the atmosphere, we can guide you down. You'll be just fine. No sweat, we'll take this step by step. There are too many seats here. It's the one on the right, go sit there. This is more in the middle than on the right, but uh, anyway. See the touch panel in front of you? Yep. I see it. Rest is easy. Just enter the following data. Hmm. It looks fine to me. Next. I'm sure you're okay, but there's something I need you to do. Turn off the gravity generator. This should save some fuel. Use the same touch panel to turn it off. All right. Done. Congratulations, you're home free, Ragnarok. And 
There's one more thing we need to tell you. From all of us on Ground Control, we wish you Godspeed. I am so gonna get marked for this sequence. Like, there's no way the copyright bot is not gonna pick this up. <laughs> we'll be home soon? Hopefully. Just a little longer. In the corner of this time, a little bar. My last <laughs> night here for you. I'm just like, yeah, Same sure. Songs, just once more. My last night mm. here with you. I suppose you can. Maybe the room was there for me. Everyone was there to hold my hand. I kind of liked it your way. How you shine. But then she left. Mm. Did you ever know? I think it's safe to say he was. The text is going a little bit fast. It must be said, because I'm not pressing anything. Uh, it's just going on automatic. Uh, and I feel heavily in, in. I would just like let it play out and just listen to the song, but like, jet. My video might actually be muted if I just let the song play out without talking over it. That too would not gonna work. Nope. As your number is small. You should get back to your seat now. Just a little bit longer. <laughs> We're gonna make it home, right? We can only hope. When we get back, we will be able to stay together, will we? No one can predict the future. There are no guarantees. Those were your words, you know what? We'll figure it out once we get back. They'll be all angry at me. This is AirStation. Ragnarok, please respond. This is Ragnarok. We have some questions for you. We are collecting escape pods. We have a good idea of what happened. I know no one from Lunar Base is on the Ragnarok. How many of you are there? Just two. Your name is? Squall, I'm a C from the Lamb Garden. And the other? Renoa. Uh, yeah, so, I really wish it wasn't auto-playing so I could actually talk about this properly. Uh, we'll have to save this for, like, after this, this conversation for, like, after this sequence is done, I think. Because I have things to say about this. That's 
fitness sheet. So, at the end of this two, when we defeated Adia, Renoa became a sorceress. And that is how the sorceress Ultimicia uh, possessed her. Hmm. I've come this far because I've fallen for you. Renoa. Now, am I just supposed to let you go? Sorceress Renoa. Pine's descendant. Come with us. We must seal your power for the sake of the world. You know, though, I've got to say, this feels like a real double standard with Adia just running around free. I guess, like, I'll, I guess Renoa did act out against Esthar, but so did Adia, and both of them, because they're possessed by Ultimicia. Uh, this is a hard situation. And Squall's just standing there like an idiot. I should tell you this before I go. I was possessed out of the space. There was a sorceress inside of me. Ultimicia. A sorceress from the future. She's trying to achieve time. Wait, is this the first time we've heard Ultimate? We must have heard Ultimacy's name before now, right? I, ho I hope I didn't spoil that like five minutes ahead of time. Well, if I did, it's not the end of the world. No, I'm certain we already knew that Adia was being possessed by the Ultimacia, whether we heard the name Ultimacia or not. She's the only one who would be able to exist in such a world. She and no other. As long as I am free, she'll continue to use me to accomplish her goal. I... we can't let that happen, right? I should go now. I'm ready. We'll be heading to the Sorceress Memorial. Renoa! Don't go. You're a little late now, Squall! Thanks, Squall, but I have to go. Oh, I still have your ring. You keep it. You sure? This is what Renoa decided. There's nothing I can do about it, right? Squall, you idiot. Oh, no, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be on the world map. Uh, that would be bad. Hmm. Nope, wrong way. Now, 
I think if I go up here... No. Okay. get here? Well, a lot of things happened. I was unconscious for a while after the escape pod touched down. When I came to, it was just me and Pete. <laughs> what indeed. Not only that, but there were signs of a struggle. I hope she's safe. The S Esthar rescue crew brought me here. The rescue crew told us that this ship and that you were all safe. Or about the ship, and yeah. Squall. When I jumped out into sp when you jumped out into space, you didn't think about anything else, did you? I wonder if there's anyone who'd do the same thing for me. Oh well. So where is the princess that changed the ever cautious squall? to tell you this now, but we've got major problems down here. Well, here it all goes. Some big thing called the Lunatic Pandora came out of nowhere! Matron couldn't achieve what she set out to because of it, which is okay. Matron's not a sorceress anymore, huh? Oh, hence the double standard, but she's still pretty, like, like, she still has the feature. I wonder if that'll, like, go away with time. Hmm. Like the monster events. And yeah, that's how, uh, that's how Renoa became a sorceress. Uh, she inherited the power sorceress power from Matron. The Gabadian military is controlling the Lunatic Pandora! They excavated it from the ocean where Esthar sank it years ago. Inside the Pandora, there's this thing called a crystal pillar, and it calls monsters from the moon! Mm hmm. Yeah. Not great. It wasn't just monsters that came down, though. The Sorcerer Sadel came down along with them! Apparently, her machine, the machine that was holding her, was in space or something. You sort of have to wonder why they didn't just, like, launch her into the sun, or deep- Well, I sort of understand why they didn't launch her into the sun, actually. Because a sorceress- I don't know- A sorceress cannot die until someone has inherited their powers. And at- So, if they hurl her into the sun, either she's going to be in the sun alive- which wouldn't be great, or some random girl is going to inherit her powers, which wouldn't be great. Keeping her alive, but contained, is safer. But They could have still, like, launched her into deep space or something. <laughs> I guess the stream of falling monsters engulfed the machine. Dr. Odin thinks that may have been Galbadius' true intent. Meaning... So, that's enough for now. I know. I know we've got... Excuse me. Problems. But I can't think right now. 
who knows the sorceress now. She received Matron's powers. But Escort from Esthar came to pick her up, pick her up. Renault's in Esthar now. Uh, yeah, we do, Selfie. She, it was her decision. She went willingly. She was, she's scared about her own powers. Nearly, just as much as they are. Scared of being feared, hated. She said she couldn't handle it. Did he? I mean, he did act well. If we're being honest, he didn't try. He didn't try very hard, but he did try. I mean, you did object, actually. Just you know, again, you didn't try very hard to stop her. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Let him have it, Quistus. Definitely. Yeah? Didn't think of that, did you? I mean, you can go and get her. You know, yeah, probably. Seems like a plan. Pandora, whatever, and Sources of Dell are out of my mind. Hands, whatever. Yeah, I'm squall now. I'll just say whatever after every, every other sentence. Uh, I don't know where to look for Sis. The only thing I know is Renoa. The only thing I want to do for sure right now is for Renoa. I'm, we are going to get her back. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, well. Well, that is either a really good thing or a really bad thing. Find out next time! Uh, yeah. <laughs> Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy with Kiss Blue, and have a great day. Bye!